Hello, I'm Noodle and in today's guide I'm going to show you how to mine for resources yourself, how to mine for crystals, how to manually tell your ship to mine for resources for you, then to sell those resources on, and lastly how to set up an auto miner. This time around I'm not going to be covering the everything in between things like I did in my manual trading and auto trading guide, as they're all pretty much the same things. So if you haven't already seen that guide and you're quite new to X4, then I suggest you go watch that guide first. I don't want to waste too much of your time with an intro, so I'll get straight to it. So the first thing you're going to want to do is to buy the right mining ship for the resources you want to mine. Do this by going to any wharf and right clicking on it, then clicking on buy ships. Now select size M in the drop down box. Then in the next drop down box over you should see the two possible miners you could buy at this wharf. One of the mining ships you can buy, in this case the Drill Vanguard, will have a solid storage hold. With this mining ship you'll be able to mine ore, ice, nevidium and silicon from asteroids. The other miner, in this case the Sunder Vanguard, will have a liquid storage hold which will allow you to collect helium, hydrogen and methane from nebulas. However, only an NPC captain can do this. You will not be able to control the ship yourself to collect these resources. So because I also want to show you how to manually mine, I'm going to buy the Jewel Vanguard. I'm also going to make sure it has mining turrets so it can mine through asteroids faster, as well as make sure it has some resource probes which I will tell you about later in the video. I'll also fill the ship with a service crew for later when I show you how to tell the ship to mine for you. Once you're happy with the ship loadout, add it to the shopping list and confirm your order. It's going to take some time for the mining ship to be built, so in the meantime, we'll decide where we want to mine for resources. On the map mode, you'll notice there are three different colours within some of the sectors, red, blue and purple. Each colour represents a different type of mining region. To check what these are, you can click on the legend tab on the top right of your map. As you can see, the red areas are mineral regions. This is where you can mine asteroids for ice, ore, nevidium, or silicon. The blue areas are gas regions where you can tell your trader to collect helium, hydrogen, or methane. And finally, the purple areas have a mixture of both mineable minerals and collectible gases. In this guide, I'm going to mine in second contact to Flashpoint purely because this is my favourite place to mine crystals, which I will show you how to do later in the video. Now that we're here, I wanted to ask anyone watching this who already has experience with mining to leave a comment below the video explaining exactly how to activate the mining turrets on the ship when you're personally controlling it, so I can pin the explanation to the top of the comment section for others to read, because I cannot for the life of me figure it out. Anyway, once you're at the asteroid field, you can push shift and the number 2 on the keyboard to activate the short range scanner, so you can see what the asteroids around you contain. As you can see, the white ones contain ice, the orange ones contain ore, and the blue ones contain silicon, and the purple ones contain the very lucrative nevidium. Once you've decided what you want to mine, go to the relevant asteroid and shoot it with the mining laser until it eventually breaks apart. You'll now see fragments of the asteroid floating around, and by clicking on them you can see if they have any yield or not. If they do, you can fly into them to collect them, or you could fly close to them and activate the container magnet to pull the fragments into your ship by pressing and holding the O key. Now that you have the ore, you can check how much of your storage is filled up by going into the map, selecting the mining ship you are controlling and clicking on the information tab on your left. Then click on the plus icon next to storage. Here you will also be able to click and drag the slider to the left if you have anything in your storage that you don't want. You can then click on drop to throw away any unwanted goods. So now that we have some ore to sell, we need to find a station that wants to buy them. This can easily be done by making the trade filter only show us the stations that are requesting the ore we want to sell. You can do this by clicking on ore if you see it there already, and if it's not already there, you can type it into the search box and press enter. Now you can see that there is a station in 18 billion requesting almost 150,000 ore. But if you want to sell to somewhere closer, you can just zoom your map in until you see the more local stations requesting the ore. Once you're happy with where you want to sell the ore, head over to the station and sell it. Before I move on to showing you how to tell your ship to do all this for you, I should explain how you can mine for crystals. Once you're in an asteroid field, look out for a slight twinkle on any of the asteroids in front of you. Once you see one, head towards it and when you're close enough you should be able to see a colourful crystal on the surface of the asteroid. Now shoot directly at the crystal until it falls out into space. At this point you can collect the crystal and it will go into the personal inventory. Which means you can sell it to a trader shop at any station later on for a nice amount of credits. 
I'll be honest, I probably should have pushed that container magnet button to collect these crystals. Hmm. Next, I'll show you how to manually tell your ship to mine a specific resource in a specific sector and then sell it to a station. This will work for gas mining ships too. First, click on the mining ship you want to use and right click in the sector you want it to mine in. As you can see, the ship can mine for either Nividium, ore or silicon in this sector. If there are no resources this specific ship is able to mine for, or if there are no resources to even mine for in any given sector, the mine button will be greyed out. Before I decide what I want the ship to mine for, I'm going to place a resource probe down to show you what it does. And next I'll queue up the order for it to mine Nividium. As you can see, the resource probe is useful as it tells you how much of any given resource can be found in that area. Here you can see that there is a decent amount of silicon and ore to be found, as well as a small amount of Nividium, so it shouldn't take too long for our ship to mine it. Once your mining ship is full up on Nividium, you will be notified by the ship's captain that he has completed his task. Then you can either push F to tell him to wait for further instructions, or you can just ignore it until it goes away. Next, you need to find a station that is requesting the resource your ship just mined for. Do this in the same way I showed you earlier, and sell it all for a nice profit. Now I'll show you how to set up the ship as an auto miner to mine for the resources you specify, at which point it will sell those mined resources to stations and repeat the process automatically. This is done through the default behaviour section of your ship's behaviour settings, and not in the same way I showed you in my manual trading and auto trading guide. But before I go on, I should explain more about the default behaviour section that I missed out in the trader guide. And I will do this by stealing what a YouTube user, hopefully a subscriber, commented under that very video as I still don't really use it. Default behaviour allows you to assign an action to the ship when it doesn't immediately have any other orders to follow. For instance, I will tell my trade ships to have a default behaviour of going to dock at the Argon Wharf station. This way, if any of them stop trading, or I have one do a manual trade and forget about it, they just go dock up there and wait patiently, rather than potentially getting blown up out in space. Thank you Magic Squid. Anyway, you can create an auto miner through this section by clicking on the already placed default behaviour and changing it to auto mine. Next, you can click on add ways to let it know what resources to mine for. I would suggest Nividium early on in the game as it brings in the biggest income. Also, later in the game, stations stop buying it for some reason, or at least they have in my games. Next, you can tell your miner how many jumps away it is allowed to mine or sell the resources. I can't tell you because the text is cut off. Ugh. Anyway, set it to full just in case. And at this point, your ship will now go to mine the resources you specified and sell it on to the stations it chooses. It will continue to do this until you tell it to do something else. This concludes my guide on manual mining and auto mining. I would like to thank you all for the amazing feedback and kind words once again. I should also mention that I do try to answer every comment I get under the videos, but there have been so many lately that I'm having a hard time keeping up with them. So instead, I'll just be hitting that love button to let you know that I have at least read what you have said, and that I love you. Also, if you found this guide helpful and think it could help anyone else having issues with the things I have covered in this guide, then please share it with them to help them out and to help me out in the process. Don't forget to hit that like button for more, subscribe if you haven't already, and as always, I'll see you in the next one, and bye bye.